happy Tuesday, everybody. Hi, life. Hi. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. Hi to all my YouTube subscribers and all my YouTube family. How y'all doing? It's Minister Queen Asia. Happy Tuesday. Remember YouTube to like, share, subscribe to the page, and leave a comment. Okay. Hi, guys. I pray y'all been having a blessed week. Okay. Hallelujah. I know we all, we only on Tuesday, but I just pray you guys had a great weekend. Hallelujah. Everything was good, you know. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Because I came on here to give you guys a word of encouragement, okay? Because I don't know what anybody going through in their life, okay? But I know, hallelujah, God is good. God is real, okay? God is on the throne, hallelujah. God sees all. God knows all, hallelujah. It is nothing that will get past him, hallelujah. I don't care if you do it in secret, if you do it in dark, hallelujah. God knows, God sees, God knows your thoughts, hallelujah. Okay, the things that you talk about in the secret places, the Lord knows, he understands, hallelujah. But what God is telling you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Before when we going through it, hallelujah, this it's always seems like there's a storm, hallelujah, right before you get that sunshine, hallelujah, right before you get to that that place, hallelujah, of victory, hallelujah. We know, hallelujah, we do know we are victors, okay? We are not victims, we are victors, we are victorious, hallelujah. We are victorious, but I'm telling you, sometimes I know. Because we are human. We could get frustrated. Hallelujah. We could get frustrated with the Lord. Hallelujah. We could get frustrated during our time of waiting. Hallelujah. We can get frustrated. But let me tell you, don't let those frustrations, don't let those, that spirit of confusion, hallelujah, interrupt you from your growth. Okay. Don't let the spirit of confusion, the spirit of frustration, hallelujah, stop you from praying, stop you from praising, stop you from worshiping, stop you from manifesting your dreams, your goals, your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you know, I know, you know, we human, we get frustrated. We okay. Like Lord, when is going to happen? When? I mean, Lord, have you heard my prayers? Do you even hear my prayers? You know, let me tell you something. God said, I heard it all. I seen it all. And I just want you to know it's already been done. Hallelujah. I done took care of it all. Your enemies. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God has worked it out. He has worked it all out. But during your time of waiting, we can't get frustrated. We can't get upset because we look, we looking at the time span. Okay. That's how the enemy try to work with it. That, you know, he tried to use time against us, okay? He trying to use, like, during our, wait period, he, during our waiting period, he tries to bring in distractions. He tries to bring in the spirit of stagnation. He tried to bring in the spirit of doubt, the spirit of confusion, okay? He tried to make you think you're crazy or you're going crazy, hallelujah, because you've been sitting on these promises, you've been... Um, believing in these promises for so long hallelujah and it seemed like nothing has happened but we know hallelujah something is happening something has happened hallelujah but that's how sometimes the lord will allow the enemy to come in like a flood hallelujah but he says he will lift up a standard hallelujah god got y'all god got us god got me okay we could get frustrated. Let me tell you something. I, I done had to go through something to where I was like, you know what? I got so frustrated with the Lord. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I just had to like scream. <laughs> I'm so serious. Okay. Because I, I gotta, I gotta watch how I talk to my father. Hallelujah. Cause you know, you always got to have respect and reference for your father. Hallelujah. Especially the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. But sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You know, the frustration might have you be like, Ugh, okay, Lord, why? you know, so, you know, but I'm telling you, God knows, he knows your intentions. He knows your heart. Hallelujah. 
he knows you don't mean no harm, but he also knows you can get frustrated. He knows you only human. Hallelujah. But that's what God wants you to do. He wants you to scream. He wants you to yell. But you know what? He what you, he don't want you to do? He don't want you to stop believing. He don't want you to stop trusting in him. He don't want you to give up. Hallelujah. He don't want you to stay quiet. Okay? He don't want you to lay down. Hallelujah. Just lay down and let the enemy just walk all over you and um just take away everything that you don't work so hard for we don't come a long way hallelujah we don't came a long way and it's this is not the time to go backwards hallelujah i rebuke and bind every spirit of backward thinking hallelujah i bind and rebuke every spirit that tries to bring you into this to stagnation okay or to make you think, hallelujah, that you are not walking into in your destiny. That you are not living in your prosperity life. Hallelujah. I bind and rebuke that devil. We know, hallelujah, that we walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. The things that we see is not what it is. Hallelujah. That's why you got to come up into the spirit. That's why the Lord said you got to continue fasting. Continue praying. Supplicating, okay? You got to pray without ceasing, okay? Because it's when you stop praying, it's when you stop fasting, and when you stop, um, when you think everything is all good, that's when the enemy come in, and he bring up things that you ain't even expecting. Hallelujah. The enemy is trying to find new ways, hallelujah, because the old ways ain't working, hallelujah, so he's trying to bring in new ways, hallelujah, to discourage you, and to get you off your game. Hallelujah, but that's why we got to stay in the spirit. So when that enemy come in, hallelujah, we know how to deal with that enemy. Hallelujah. We got to continue to fight these warfare fights. Okay. We got to continue, hallelujah, to bind and rebuke the demon. We got to continue, hallelujah, to cast down, hallelujah, these um, principalities that's in high places. Hallelujah. We have to continue to help to help our angels fight our battles. Hallelujah. We got to keep continuing fighting and building up our warfare um, strategies. Hallelujah. You can't just do this one time and think it's, uh, it's all good. No, no, no. You got to do it till the battle is won. You got to do it till it's over. You got to do it till you and walking and living in your victory. Hallelujah. Until you walking and living into your destiny. And then you still got to fight. I'm telling you, we're going to be doing this. Hallelujah. Till it's time for us to go to our eternal life. Hallelujah. Till we, till we meet our kingdom face to face, our father face to face. Hallelujah. While we're here, we still got to fight. We still got to help others. Hallelujah. We still got to teach others how to fight. And you know when you are called and chosen by the Lord. Hallelujah. You, you gonna always, you going to always be on the battlefield. Hallelujah. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. So what are soldiers here to do? We are here to fight. We are here to stand in a gap. We are interceders. We are watchers. Hallelujah. We are prophets and ministers. Pastors. Hallelujah. Bishops and deacons. Ushers. We are worshipers and praisers. This is what we do. This is our life. This is a lifestyle. Hallelujah. We don't just do this on Sunday. We do this all day, every day. Hallelujah. So don't think the enemy going to stop attacking you. He going to always try. But let me tell you something. We have the victory. And it ain't. And, and, and he ain't going to. He, he already lost. But let me tell you. We're we going to be walking in such a great victory. In such a great. Um overflow hallelujah of abundance the things that we dealing with right now hallelujah we're gonna be able to look back and say thank you lord and be, look back and say i'm so glad i didn't give up i'm so glad i didn't give in i'm so glad hallelujah i didn't allow that spirit of confusion that spirit of doubt and fear to enter in to my mind i'm so glad i cast those imaginations down i'm so glad i kept this word hallelujah and kept speaking and prophesied over my life hallelujah because look at me now hi out of the boats look at me now look at us now y'all hallelujah so i'm not gonna be before you long but i just had to come and give you this word because i like i told you I was frustrated and I was frustrated with my father and I was like, daddy, 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 you know what's going on? You know, I'm doing everything that I think I know how to do. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord said, you can do more. This is what he told me I could do more. He said, cause you get to a point where you start getting lazy and you start, you know, going with the flow. He said, I can't, you can't go with the flow. Okay. You ain't a go with the flow type of person. 
you go against the grain. Hallelujah. You got to call things down. Hallelujah. You are a manifester. Hallelujah. You are a prophet. So you got to speak these things into existence and you got to keep speaking it. Hallelujah. So he said, this ain't the time to go with the flow. This ain't the time to be stagnant. This ain't the time to give up. This ain't the time to cry. This is the time to fight. Hallelujah. This is the time, hallelujah, to put on your armor. Hallelujah. And get on the front line. Hallelujah. This is the time to get on your knees and pray even more. Hallelujah. If you got to fast longer. Hallelujah. If you got to pray longer. If you just got to worship louder, worship more. Praise him more. This is that time. This is that time we to press in. Hallelujah. But you know what? When I was coming to the Lord and he gave me that, my spirit was feeling so good. Because I'm telling you, I was down, y'all. I was really down. I was feeling some type of way. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I pray every day. I'm, I'm a prayer. I pray every day. I can't wake up without praying and without giving God glory. I can't wake up without, you know, manifesting my day. But it's a difference. Hallelujah. The Lord under know my spirit and I know my spirit. It, it was It was a difference. It wasn't... You know, it was more, I was praying more out of frustration than more than more than out of victory, out of gladness, you know, out of rejoice, you know, out of joy. It was a different type of pray, pray and praise. And so when it's like that, it don't, you know, it don't affect you. It don't affect the atmosphere because we, when you pray, you got to pray in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And when you frustrated, you got so much on your mind, hallelujah. And that, that's what the enemy do. He try to put things on your mind to hinder your prayer, to hinder your praise, hallelujah. But I'm telling you, when I came to the Lord and I just, you know, you know, came to him and I just had the long talk with him. I just had to talk to him, you know, the way we talk, okay. Because God knows us. He knows our attitudes. He knows our character, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so we could come to the Lord as ourselves. Okay, and when I just came to him, I'm telling you with my daddy, let me tell you how God, how good God is. So I'm about to give you the word that the Lord gave me. Hallelujah. All right. And I'm going to be coming from the book of Psalms. Okay. And I was like, oh, Lord, if thank, thank you, because like I said, God knows all. He knows it all. He know it all. He's a know it all. Okay. <laughs> People be like, you think you would know it all. No, I know I don't know it all. But my daddy, he knows it all. Hallelujah. And if I just let the Holy Spirit lead me, he going to teach me all things that I need to know. Hallelujah. So that I could come and give it to you. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be coming out of the book of Psalms. Sorry about that. That. Uh, sorry about that. That. Sorry about that, y'all. That's my, um, my prayer alarm. It go off like every two hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to be coming out of the book of Psalms. And I'm going to be coming out of Psalm 61. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord told me. Okay. After I done came, after I went to him, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is what my daddy, this is what he told me. Hallelujah. Psalm 61. And I'm going to tell you what he told me because this is for all of us. This is for the body of Christ. Okay. Hallelujah. He says. It says, hallelujah, hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, hallelujah, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, Selah. For thou, O God, has heard my vows. Hallelujah. Thou has given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Hallelujah. Thou will prolong the king's life in his years as many generations. Hallelujah. He shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Hallelujah. This is what the word gave me, because I'm telling you, I was crying. I was in tears. And so this is um, the Psalms of David, okay? 
because I think King David is like a good representation of pretty much everything we as the body of Christ can go through. He went through it. Hallelujah. The giants we have to face, the Goliaths in our lives, okay? The destiny when God has called you to be king over a certain thing or or be, you know, in a kingdom in a certain on a certain level. Hallelujah. He had to go through all that. The waiting period. He had to go through people trying to kill him. And I'm literally mean kill him. Okay, we got to deal with these spirits trying to destroy us. But he had to actually actually deal with people coming, trying to destroy his life. He had to go through some real, real situations that we, thank God, haven't had to go through like that. But we go through our battle differently. Hallelujah. But this is the word that the Lord gave me. Because the Lord, He, when you crying, let me tell you something. It's no, it's none of our tears are in vain. Every tear, every tear, the Lord keeps every tear. And he know what every single teardrop that come out your eye represents. He knows the emotions behind those tears. He knows the feelings behind those tears. He knows why you crying, okay? He knows the pain, the suffering, the torment, hallelujah, behind each and every teardrop, okay? He knows your tears that are tears of joy, your tears of happiness, hallelujah, he know the tears that you're going through when you are in need, hallelujah. When you are sick, hallelujah. He knows each and every teardrop that you cry. So none of these tears are in vain, hallelujah. These tears are your sacrifices. These tears are your prayers, hallelujah. When you can't get a word out because you just, you know, you just don't know what to say or how to say it, hallelujah. But that's why the Holy Spirit, he gives us the moans and groans, even if the, our moans and groans are prayers to the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit will take it and interpret it to the Lord. Hallelujah. When we can't. Because that's how good God is. Every emotion we feel in. Hallelujah. The Lord understands. He knows it. That's why it says, hallelujah, from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me through to the rock that is higher than I. When we are overwhelmed, hallelujah. When we are overwhelmed with just life, hallelujah. We got to go to the rock. The Lord is our rock, okay? He's our foundation. So this is what God expects us to do. He expects us to come to him. Sometimes a lot, sometimes God would allow you to to get to your to the point of no return to your like to the end of yourself. Because then that's when you're going to cry out. And that's when it's going to be really real. And you're going to understand it. You're going to feel it. And guess what? You gonna, That's when that miracle going to come. That's when the, that's when the uh, windows of heaven go open up. Hallelujah. That's when the abundance and the overflow come in. Hallelujah. Because you got to understand. The word of God said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. The word of God says, I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, okay? It's not in our strength, but it's in the strength that we receive from the Lord, hallelujah. It's in the strength that we have in us that is abiding in us. It is the God strength that's in us, hallelujah. Because we know we weak, but when we are weak, he is strong. So that's why we have to, hallelujah, that's why we have to always stand on God's, on the word of God. We got to stay connected to our rock, He's our rock, okay? We can't be shaken and we can't be moved, hallelujah, when we are when we have built our foundation, hallelujah, on the word of God, on God's word, on God's truth, hallelujah. And when we are living, hallelujah, righteously, when we are living to the best of our knowledge, to the best of our ability, by the laws and the commandments and the statutes of the Lord, hallelujah. When you living and walking in obedience, then you automatically are walking in the blessing. Because the, the obedience brings the blessing. Hallelujah. But you still got to go through trials and tribulations. Hallelujah. You still got to build up your muscles. Hallelujah. You still got to go through battles. This is how you learn how to fight. This is how you learn how to be more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Hiya. This is how you learn. Hallelujah. To be the, the, the new creature in Christ. Hallelujah. This is how you see God in 
a, such a different way. This is how God shows you who he is. This is how you see the manifestation of who God truly really is in your life and how God works. This is how you understand the work of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Because like I said before, it ain't nothing like the world. Okay. We don't, we, we live in this world, but we are not of this world. Hallelujah. We are the light of the world. Hallelujah. The salt of the earth. We shine different. Okay. We walk and talk different. Okay. We hit different. Hallelujah. We not like everybody else. We don't follow the crowd. Hallelujah. Okay. We are leaders. We're not followers. So our task, our walk is a different walk. Hallelujah. Our battles are different. Hallelujah. But we cannot give up. Hallelujah. We cannot give the enemy an inch. Okay. We can't give him an inch to let him think he got us. No, 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 no. I'll rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And every demon that he tried to send against God's promise, against God's purpose, against God's will, and against God's plan. Hallelujah. For your life. Hallelujah. You are a victor. You are a victor. Okay. You are victorious. Hi, my beautiful sister. I love you so much. You are victorious. Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord told me. Okay. He's like, girl, if you don't, if you don't snap out of it, <laughs> God talked to me different. Okay. Cause I've been in, I've been, I've been, I've been doing this for a little longer. Hallelujah. Sorry about that. Facebook. My phone is freezing. My, my phone um froze on y'all Facebook, but sorry about that. Yes. God talked to me different. He talked to me, you know, like, um, when you like the oldest sibling, you, you got all these younger siblings and your mama and dad, when, when something happened, they blame you. They be like, you the oldest, you know better. Okay. You supposed to be setting an example for them. You supposed to be teaching them. Okay. That's how, how my daddy be talking to me. He be like, let me tell you something. It's time for you. What girl, if you don't, if you don't, uh, get with it, if you don't get with the program, hallelujah. Okay. God don't treat me like a baby no more. He's like, no, you off breast milk now. Okay. You eat real solid meat. Okay. He like, if you don't snap out of it and get back where you belong, hallelujah. You know, he said, you got to be about your father's business. He's like, I don't know what you, why you concerned about your life when your life is in me, is my life. He like, you concerned about things that you ain't supposed to be concerned about. If you trusting in me, you believing in my word. What's, what's, what's this conversation we talking about now? And I'd be like, okay, 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 okay. I was like, but you know, I, I get frustrated. He was like, yeah, I know. He's like, and I also know you're a Gemini too. So, you know, he'd be like, you be having different personalities ages sometimes, but I need you to stay. <laughs> he's like, I need you to stay in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's right. It's already planned. Hallelujah. It's already done. So, he, you know, he'd be like, you know, but we got to go through those. We do got to go through all those, um, those emotions because you know what I'm saying? Those are, those are the, those are the things that make me mad. And I, and when I get mad and I get angry, I start, that's when I go into my warfare battle of prayer. You know, that's when I really go in and I start binding and rebuking that devil for real, for real. And sometimes that's what the Lord let me, God, he got to do. Cause he was like, Oh, you getting, you, he like, you getting too um, relaxed. Hallelujah. You getting too relaxed. I can't let you get relaxed. So I'm going to have to put some fire under your feet. To let you know this ain't a game okay so you got to keep your battle gear on at all times because you never know what how the enemy gonna come in when he gonna come in where he gonna come in who he gonna use to come through so we gotta stay on guard at all times hallelujah so i just want to encourage you guys hallelujah to, to keep fighting the good fight of faith hallelujah we 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 winning the race y'all don't give up now. This You don't know how far you done came. You done came too far. This is not the time to give up, but this is the time, hallelujah, to get down. I mean, you got to get down in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to keep manifesting those good things. You got to keep prophesying over your life. Hallelujah. You got to just, whatever it takes, hallelujah, whatever it takes to keep you 
in the presence of the Lord. That's what you got to do. I'm telling you, when I did that, I, I just felt so good. I, my spirit just felt so good. I just, I didn't want to stop praying. I said, I'm just going to lay here all night long, Lord. I'm just going to lay here all night long. You know, I'm, I could fall asleep right here on my knees, on my face. Hallelujah. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Sometimes you go cry yourself to sleep, pray yourself to sleep, worship yourself to sleep sometimes. Sometimes that's what it's going to take. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to be, you got to be in, you got to be in it all night long, all day long. Hallelujah. Sometimes you ain't going to be able to come out the house. Hallelujah. Until you hear from the Lord. Okay. But this is what the Lord has called us to do. You, you was made for this. You was built for this. Okay. We can handle this. Hallelujah. And we ain't doing this on our own. We got the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit work, working with us. And then you got the body of Christ, hallelujah. You got the encouragers, hallelujah. Praying, hallelujah. The interceders, the intercessors, praying on y'all behalf, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm just here to encourage you to tell you, don't stop now. Don't stop now. Keep going, hallelujah. Keep going. Don't give up now, hallelujah. It's like you've been in school all this time. Hallelujah. And you want to drop out. Hallelujah. When summer vacation is about to come. <laughs> you only got like two more months of school, but you want to drop out. No, you done made it this far. You're going to keep going. Hallelujah. And you're going to watch that, walk that stage and you're going to graduate. Hallelujah. Hiya. I just thank you guys for supporting me. Hallelujah. I love you, Lisa. You are my every, I love you so much, y'all. That's my sister. I love you so much. Hallelujah. And I thank God for you. I just thank God for you, girl. I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. And it has encouraged my spirit so much to see you, hallelujah, growing into the Lord. I'm so happy. Like this is everything to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so glad your life has already have been spoken over a long, long time ago, hallelujah. I remember my mom and them praying for you. And just to see, see it now, God is good. God is real, hallelujah. But God works in his time, hallelujah. But when it's time, hallelujah, can't nothing stop him from moving. Hallelujah. Can't nothing stop God when God got a plan for his children's life, hallelujah. And he ain't gonna let no devil in hell stop it either. Especially when you, be, when you um, get one accord with the Lord, hallelujah. When you give your when you give God your life to the Lord, hallelujah, it's a wrap. Can't nobody take with the with, with what's for the what's for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Nobody. Hallelujah. When you become a child of God, you stay a child of God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. So that's the word of God, you guys. I pray that I was able to encourage somebody today. Because let me tell you, the Lord encouraged me. So I feel so good now. I feel I mean, I really do. I feel I feel like myself again. Hallelujah. So I want you guys to be blessed. I want you to have a great rest of your week. Hallelujah. I love each and every one of you. Please remember my YouTubers to like, share, and subscribe to the page. Hallelujah. And to all my Facebook, I love y'all so much. Y'all been with me from day one. So you know what I'm saying? So we've been doing this for a long time, y'all. So... I just want y'all to remember to like, share, okay? And leave a comment, y'all. I love y'all so much. And be blessed. And God willing, I will see you guys sooner than later, okay? Happy Tuesday, you guys. Mwah.